author Monica Maron can claim to have a unique perspective on modern Germany. Part of the East German elite, she moved west and has now been awarded the German National Prize. Arts 21 caught up with her. A piece of the Berlin Wall. Monica Maron was just 20 when it was built. She experienced the division of Germany from start to finish, and she wrote about it. Nobody expected that this separation would end during our lifetime. But when it actually happened, it brought me sheer joy. We went to visit Monika Maren. She lived in what was then East Germany until 1988. Now she lives in Western Berlin with her dog Momo. You've been awarded the German National Prize for your work on the division of Germany and your critique of the glorification of East Germany. What kind of state was it? Well, it wasn't a state you'd want to live in. It certainly wasn't a democracy. It was a state where an individual who wished for freedom fell by the wayside. Monika Maron was born in Berlin in June 1941, during World War II, the illegitimate daughter of a communist. She was 10 when she moved with her mother from West to East Berlin, to East Germany. Her mother married Karl Maron. He was the East's interior minister when the war was built in 1961. Monika Maron became a journalist. She believed in the communist state back then, but came to realize that the ideals propagated by the regime did not match up to reality. She criticized the system in her first novel, Flugasche, Flight of Ashes, which she wrote in the 1970s. In the book, I simply went through what happens when somebody gets serious and says, now I'm going to write all about it. And what happened to me with my book happened to Josefa and her article. Her heroine, Josefa, is a reporter who writes about a city called B, the dirtiest city in Europe. In reality, a reference to the city of Bitterfeld with its power station. But her article is refused publication. Monika Maren's first book should have appeared in East Germany, but the censors at the Ministry of Culture kept demanding changes until Maren had had enough. She sent the manuscript to West Germany. When the book was published there in 1981, it changed her life. I was not declared an enemy of the state, but they saw that I was doing what I thought was right, not because I wanted confrontation, but because I wanted to be true to myself. My desire to be honest was enough to cause the rift. What was it like for you back then to experience that? It was quite dreadful at first because I was afraid of the consequences. Not so much as regards the state. I was more afraid of relationships falling apart, especially in my family. And after that, I felt very good. It's like going out in the rain. The first drops are rather unpleasant, but when you're soaked to the skin, it's quite nice. Her mother didn't speak to her for a year. She liked the book, but not the fact that it was published in the West. Monika Maren briefly worked for the East German Secret Service, the Stasi, in order to travel to the West. She was expected to tell the Stasi about her trips, so she wrote about the merits of the West. They weren't Stasi reports in the usual sense. They said they needed upright individuals like me. So I agreed and wrote two honest reports for them. That's the whole story. Why did you do that? Because I was curious. I wasn't afraid of the Stasi. I grew up with them. Stasi people ate at our dinner table. My stepfather was the interior minister. Monica Maren's clear view of the true conditions made her life in the East increasingly difficult. She was banned from publishing. In 1988, she finally moved to West Germany. She settled with her husband and son in Hamburg. 
A year later, the Berlin Wall fell. The division of Germany was over. The demise of communist East Germany gave her a new perspective. Maren was 48 years old and felt she could at last write about anything and everything. Love, family, ageing and happiness. What motivates you to write? I write about things that interest me the most. Then I sit there and think, what do I want to know? What do I want to know? And then I get going. In her latest book, she looks at the changes that have occurred over the past decades in Bitterfeld, now known for its solar technology industry. She describes the world's biggest solar panel manufacturer. It's a success story about audacity and inventiveness in Eastern and Western Germany. Twenty years after the end of communism, Monika Maren is being recognized as a committed and courageous writer who has remained true to herself.